In today's video, I want to give you some values uh, by barrio as opposed to running around and uh, having price ranges in different barrios. I think if we can uh, put together, I've, I have five in uh, the best barrio right now in Armenia, Castellana, and uh, it might give you a better idea of what there is available for those of you that are looking at purchasing have probably been here and know, not think, but know that Armenia is for them. My name is William Hutchison. My wife and I own Armenia Columbia Realty for Expats in Armenia Columbia. I'm going to refer to my notes because there's a lot of information here that I think you'll find helpful. And I want to start off with the filters, the, the parameters that I plugged in. Uh, when I was doing my searches. I looked at uh, 450 million to 900 million in uh, Castellana. The 450, uh, I'm using 4,500 Colombian pesos to the dollar, is about $100,000. The limitation, uh, the threshold for the three-year property owner visa is ninety thousand uh, dollars at a forty five hundred dollar um, conversion rate uh, there's nothing really in castiana it's the best barrier in armenia that will sell for that price um, it's just uh, they, they just uh, aren't available i looked at curb appeal um, of course that's uh, subjective a lot of natural light, the quietest areas. Even though Castellane is the best burial, part of it backs onto the main or one of the main north-south roads uh, through the middle of town. Uh, a lot of discos, a lot of restaurants, night activity, traffic noise, buses, uh, trucks go on. It goes on till on the weekends, two or three o'clock in the morning. So you don't want to live on that fringe. You want to be deeper deeper into the burial. I know the burial, and uh, even though it is the best, as I say, uh, there's areas of it that you don't want to live in. I also looked at ones that were priced fairly. If, um, as is the case here, sometimes uh, people, especially privates, ask 20 or 25% more than something's worth and hope that someone comes along and, uh, and uh, makes their day, so to speak. Um, I, I just rejected those. I also looked at the ones that were have been listed within the last 90 days. Administration here is uh, shoddy, so uh, anything over and above uh, 90 days uh, may have been sold 60 days ago and, it's, and it hasn't been deleted from the listing service. I looked at uh, a thousand square feet plus. Anything smaller than that is um, is kind of confining, I think. Uh, I discarded uh, major rentals. Uh, there's a couple here with a good price, but you'd have to get involved in a major rental, maybe four or six weeks. Um, the minimum was three bedroom, two bathroom. Uh, some of these are more. Uh, and uh, just to give you an idea, there's 779 listings with those parameters. Uh, there's some duplication. There's some new. Uh, there, there was a lot or two, not very many. Uh, so I'm guessing maybe legitimately there's 550. And I went just about to the end to find these five. Uh, there's lots for sale, but there's lots too that, um, uh, that I wouldn't recommend. First of all, Barrios, Barrios limits a lot of the, um, of the choice. There's other burials that, uh, you know, we'd best deal with if you're dealing with me and you're here in Armenia that are okay. Um, the, some of them are, are visually not attractive, uh, certainly not for me, but uh, there's places in there that you can find reasonable that, um, that would be uh, a decent place to live. Let's get started uh, with the first one. Uh, I'm calling these the Castellana 5. Their prices asking are 104 to 189 
U.S., 104,000 to 189,000 U.S. All but one are condos. None have a pool. Castellana, for whatever reason, it's difficult to find a pool. You'll find here too in Armenia that, that uh, barrios tend to be similar style um, residences. You'll get a barrio that's mostly townhouses. You'll get another one that's mostly condos. You'll get another one that's a mix. There's a restaurant beside a house, beside a car dealership, beside a bank. Um, but Castellana is basically condos. There are some older homes that are, are maintained well, but basically uh, recently built condos within, say, the last 10 years. The first one is um, three and three, asking 104,000. It's 1,600 square feet with two parking spaces. Administration is $118. Uh, that's not super high for Castellana because most of the buildings over there are lesser number of units. Um, some cases 20 or 25 where in other barrios the, the building is 80 to 100 units. So obviously with fewer units, the administration has to go up to cover the common area costs. The pros of this, uh, it looks very well maintained. Uh, photos don't tell the whole story, but uh, compared to others, it does look well maintained. It has a lot of uh, laminate flooring. Uh, it's popular here in the in the upper end. The cons on this one, I am not exactly sure where it is, but if the Finca Rays map is correct, they usually aren't. But if in fact it is correct, it's very close to that main uh, north-south artery with a lot of um, of traffic noise. Uh, this one too, uh, it's got the metal kitchen counter, not a lot of money to replace it, I would. Uh, just the counter, I wouldn't replace the kitchen. And it may need bathroom updates, but that's uh, entirely a personal matter. The second one is three and three, asking 144, and it's 1,650 square feet one parking spot and the administration is $78 a month. It has two large covered balconies, which I like uh, in Colombia here. You need to take advantage of the climate and live uh, most of your hours uh, outdoors. A balcony like this, I probably have a hammock out there and uh, I might even spend the odd, the odd night out there uh, sleeping. Um, it's been renovated at some point. Uh, what you'll find in Colombia here is a lot of people will buy and have a place for 20 or 25 or 30 years and, and not update anything. Uh, the limit is maybe painting. Uh, bathrooms don't get updated, kitchens don't, flooring doesn't, uh, doors. Uh, some of these uh, condos that you would see on this site uh, have doors that you know are uh, 40 years old because of the style of them. So this one looks like it's been updated fairly recently. The third one is a penthouse. They're asking 173 for it. They say it's 3,300 square feet. That's large. Uh, I have a listing uh, penthouse uh, in Castellana as well uh, of this size. So, the, so they are there. It's a four and five, and three of the bathrooms are in the ensuite. Two parking. Administration is $311 a month, which is high. But again, my suspicion is, uh, and I don't know exactly where this is because there's no outside photo, that there's very few units uh, in the building. The thing I like about this is there's a private elevator right to the unit. Uh, that's uh, awful, awful secure, a really nice feature. Um, it's bright, looks well maintained. It has an employee bedroom and bath. And I don't know if they're included in that four and five, they might be. So it, maybe for the family, it's a three and four and the employee adds one on, uh, on each. Also has a gymnasium. The fourth one is also a four and three. 
It's the most expensive in the list here. It's 189,000 for 2,500 square feet. One parking and the administration's $121 a month. This is a house, has a large covered terrace, a functional kitchen, and once again, it looks well-maintained. You'll find in Castellana that there's a lot of professional people. They're, um, they're professional in their work, and they're also professional in their, in their uh, personal lives. So these, in many instances, are just our turnkey. Uh, you go in, if you want to change the paint color, that's fine. You want to change the bathroom fixtures, that's fine. But the wood and uh, the walls and the floors that are there are usually in perfect condition. There's no, there's no issues with damage and having to do repairs when you um, take over the unit. The last one is a three and three condo, asking 154, 2100 square feet, three parking spaces. You look at the photos, there's a single and there's uh, a double in line. The parking space, uh, single, you could probably sell for seven to $10,000 if there's demand for it. Uh, why these people bought three parking spaces? Because here when you buy new, you buy the unit and then if you want a parking spot, you pay more. And if you want a bodega, which is a small storage unit, some buildings still have them, many don't, uh, then you pay extra for that as well. So somewhere along the line, someone paid for three parking spaces uh, for this unit. Uh, all the bedrooms are en suite. They have a TV room. There's the employee bedroom and bath. So I assume that this is really four and four, if you include the, uh, the employee bedroom. It's well maintained and looks like it has had a recent renovation. That's the recap for Castellana, the best barrio in Armenia. Not to be confused with the barrios uh, at the airport, which uh, I don't consider inside of Armenia. They are far and away uh, the best place to live. Uh, but you'll pay more to live out there. The cheapest place is probably that you're going to find decent is probably 250,000. So that would be 60 or 70,000 more than uh, Castellana here. I'm going to have a look at uh, two other barrios, Lorelles, uh and at the airport. Uh, there's some other barrios as well, if you uh, are looking uh, yourself. Um, Cadera 19, that's Avenue 19, there, there's some decent places there, just not very convenient, probably need a car for most of it. Um, there's some areas of Fundadores, Providencia, Profesionales, Coenca, uh, those sorts of things. So. I think what I'm going to do is, uh, is the next one I'm going to do on Lorelli's because it's the, by far the most convenient barrio in uh, Armenia. Then I'll do one uh, on the airport. And I think I'll do a catch-all on Friday that brings in some of these other barrios that I've just mentioned uh, kind of on the fringe. I know it's going back to apples and oranges again, but I think... Um, I think that they're worth uh, presenting to you. That's the end of my video for today. I hope it helps you out. Uh, I'd love to see you here. It's a wonderful place to live. Uh, we'll take care of you uh, from start to finish in a professional manner. And um, I go back to my original um, advice. Make sure that Armenia is for you. The last thing you want to, to have happen is for whatever reason you need to go back to the United States after purchasing here. You don't want to be uh, selling in Colombia while living in the United States, I'm sure. I, if I was in that position, I know I wouldn't sleep at night. William Hutchison, Armenia, Colombia Realty for Expats, signing off. I live in paradise and you can too.